Hi guys, this is Apple Help, and this is a video showing you how to downgrade your iOS 7 iPhone to iOS 6. Now this may be for a couple of reasons. You may want to jailbreak your iPhone, and obviously with the latest um, news on the jailbreak you can do it this way. Or you may simply just not like the new iOS 7. But anyway, this is a very easy 7 step guide to downgrading to iOS 6. So step 1 is to make sure you're running the correct version of iTunes. Anything newer than 11.0.5 will not work so you need 11.0.5 or earlier so anything later delete it delete all traces including things like Apple mobile device Apple software update and bonjour okay step two is to download iTunes 11.0.5 I've used old apps there are other programs which are similar the link is in the description below so install that and if you do get the error iTunes music library XML then head over to your iTunes music folder and delete that named file so step three you need the latest version of iFaith and also iOS 6.1.3 the link will be below if you are on an iPhone 4 you will need 6.1.2 you'll also need to save your SHSH blobs so use a program like Tiny Umbrella but if you've done it previously on Cydia you can get it back from there okay guys so step four is to load up iFaith and click build star signed star IPSW space W forward slash blobs this will begin the process of creating your modified firmware to which you'll be downgrading to so we're nearly there now and um, step five is just to locate your SHSH and then select the stock iOS firmware that you downloaded earlier iFaith will then process this and create your custom IPSW firmware for your restore okay so in order to restore we need to put it into DFU mode and so you can do that um, using the built-in iFaith mode um, and that is hold down power and home button for 10 seconds then release just the power button while continue to hold home and then when the screen's gone blank congratulations folks you're in DFU mode so finally load up iTunes select the iPhone from devices hold down shift if you're on a Windows machine or alt if you're on a Mac and then locate the firmware that was created by iFaith earlier. Click the restore button and then proceed as normal. The iPhone will restore itself and when it boots up, hey presto, you're in iOS 6. Thanks for watching folks. Please subscribe to more videos and take care.